Hey guys, I'm getting a lot of questions about where to post the link um, into Blackboard and also I'm getting questions on um, not being able to upload your files or uh, place your files. Um, if I have a sneezing attack, you guys have to forgive me. Uh, my allergies are acting crazy. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click into um, a assignment. And if yours looks different than this, it doesn't matter. This works for anyone who's working in Blackboard, who's uploading any assignments. Um, you're going to look for that icon, of course, with the assignment, which is going to be the paper, the pencil, and the ruler. And that's the icon. Um, you'll know that you're in an assignment. So I'm going to click on the assignment. And it's going to take me inside the assignment, of course, as usual. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to scroll down. So this is where you, where it says assignment submission. Um, this is where you actually upload your assignment. So if you have a submission that you're writing, um, just so that for your other classes, you would click here and you would get this formatting toolbar. Even if you don't have one that you're writing, you can click here. You're going to get this toolbar and this is where you can upload your link. So I can say this is my Behance link. Okay, and then I can, oops, um, then I can just paste the link in with the control V if you're on a PC, command V if you're on a Mac. Um, another fancy way that, let's just say, um, and notice when I hit enter, it actually truncated it into the word behind. So that's kind of cool, but the link is actually there. It looks like it disappeared, but it's there. If you want to check it to make sure, highlight it. I'm going to click on this, and then it's going to show you that that is the URL. And then you can put a title in here, my Behance link. Now, this is something new that Blackboard does, so you don't have to do If your link shows and yours didn't truncate like mine did, it truncated into the word Behance, that's fine. It doesn't have to. Um, it's just something that it does. And you hit save, and now you have the link that you can actually um, give to me. When it comes to me, I'll click on it, and I'll go to your Behance link. So that's where you post your Behance link. But then attaching multiple files, I'm going to click Browse Local Files. I'm going to just go into any folder. You guys are all color-coded. I color-coded each class. Um Let's say I go into here, and let's just say I grab these two files. I'm just going to grab them for the heck of it. Hit open. So now my files are attached. My link is attached, and that's at the point that I will hit submit, and then um, it will come to me, okay? So both things, multiple files, you just select however many files that you want to select and um, upload them. You're going to get it. It's going to say link titles. Come look here, and then to go ahead and submit your information, you'll submit it here. Now, if you have other, let's say you put the Behance link and then you're like, you know, I want to add a comment. You can also add a comment to it as well, but it doesn't matter where you can add the comment here. You can also add the link down here as well. So you have options. There are multiple options in here. This is the text submission part where you would um, submit your Behance link. And then now here, if you want to send me a note saying, hey, uh, this was difficult or Hey, you know, I had difficulties in this or hey, whatever, whatever. Or hey, I like this. Um, this was a lot of fun or anything like that you can put there. All right. So that's what I wanted to go over with you guys real quick. Um, I thought it would be good to just give a video um, that I'll probably keep forever in future classes um, because, you know, everybody's new to Blackboard and I totally understand because I was as well. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully this video helps you out and I will see you guys in class.